What is happening, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. Today, I'm gonna give you my picks, all right? These are gonna be my top five EDC carry knives of 2022. Now, without further ado, light it up. Ah. My top five favorite knives of 2022. These are knives that I acquired this year and that I've been carrying the most this year. One of the earliest knives that I got this year was one from Honey Badger and I absolutely love this thing. This has been one of my favorites throughout this year. I love Honey Badger. I love what they offer. I love what they do. And uh, I tell you what, I've said it before. I'll say it again. A vast majority of the knives that I carry on a daily basis are not stainless. In fact, I carry more D2 knives than I do any other steel in general. So let's take a look at this one up close and go over that one. So like I said, this has been definitely one of my favorites this year. This is the Honey Badger Medium Black Drop Point in D2. Um, this is still, I really like their Tonto. Um, but again, I like D2, so I'm going to lean towards this uh, drop point right here. This one's coming in at $54, close length 4.09 inches, 2.81 inches on that D2 tool steel drop point blade. Nice, thick blade stock right there. It is a liner lock with FRN handles, black FRN handles. It's got the thumb hole opening, so really easy, really great action. Um, nice and easy to open with the thumb really easy to reverse flick right there and it's also got the flipper on the back side I put a little uh, snake knot lanyard on there makes it nice and bright um, just really dig this knife this is a great beater EDC um, this is something that I don't mind using that I don't mind beating up and uh, that absolutely works for me every single time it is dead nuts reliable and uh, I love this thing. I love what Honey Badger offers the community. They offer the community a good, solid EDC that you can depend on that is not gonna break the bank and not gonna break your wallet. I love it. Um, stainless steel tip-up pocket clip that is reversible, and I like the design here. So it actually slides in underneath the scales and then tightens down. So you don't have to have a filler tab or anything like that. You've still got the screws there, you don't have to have that awkward filler tab sometimes that you get, stuff like that. So I really dig that. And 54 bucks, you absolutely can't beat that, folks. I think that's a phenomenal, phenomenal deal. Love that one. Now, up next, and going to be the next one that I got, um, was uh, one of the new ones from Benchmade this year, and that is the Mini Bug Out, and this is the light version. This is the carbon fiber version. Um, so they're upgraded mini bug out model this year, and uh, I really dig this. I loved when they came out with last year um, the regular size bug out in this model, but didn't love it enough to go ahead and bite the bullet and grab it. I did love this one enough simply because of how small, how lightweight. Um, anytime I'm you know wearing dress pants for anything or uh, need something really lightweight, very unobtrusive, very small, this is what I go to, and uh, I absolutely dig this knife. The specs on this one. So this one's coming in at 288. It is 3.7 inches closed. Of course, access lock, carbon fiber on the handles, 2.82 inch CPM S90V stainless steel drop point blade with the satin finish. It is a manual folder, ambi thumb studs, reverse flicks out there, really nice. Opens with the thumb really nice. It's super fidgety. That's another reason why I love this one. I could sit at my desk all day long and just flick this thing open and closed. I love Benchmade simply for their fidget factor, but also because of how reliable they are. You know they're gonna work every single time. Anodized blue accents, I also really like that. You got the anodized blue backspacer with the integrated lanyard loop and the anodized blue ambi thumb studs, deep carry pocket clip that is reversible, right or left-handed, 3.7 inches closed, like I said, and just 1.62 ounces. Now, this also made it on my list of my favorite lightweight EDCs, um, and that was EDC folders that were under two ounces, and this absolutely fits in that category. 
and it is perfect for that. Super sturdy, feels great in the hand, nice full four finger grip on that um, without any spillage, finger spilling over there, and um, just really, really dig that knife. That's, that's definitely been one of my favorites and one that I've had in my pocket uh, quite a bit this year. Um, another one, and this one is an exclusive right here. One of two exclusives on this list. Um, and I've been really digging this design. Now we've got several different models in this design right here. And uh, I have been absolutely loving this thing. And that is our Jesper Voxnay's design in collaboration with us. Exclusive design, Vincent, right here. Uh, made by MKM. Now we've got, like I said, several different models. So we've got our upgraded model, our high-end, and our mid-range model. Let's take a look at these and go over those specs right there. As of the filming of this, we've got a, we've actually got a deal going on. Um, on this one right here uh, and on the Jade one for $79.99. That's what those are going for online. Um, now, the other G10 models are coming in at $89.10, so that's still a phenomenal value. You're talking N690 on the blade steel, exclusive design. Um, we've got the blade coating. This is the Desert Warrior version right here. G10 textured handle, handles, wow, sounding like uh, Alex Morrison. Um, G10 textured han handles, good grief, wow. G10 textured handle, I'm done, I'm done, I'm out. G10 textured handles with the anodized backspacer integrated lanyard loop, and uh, you'll notice this lanyard loop that's kind of uh, Jesper Voxnase's signature right there, along with that thumb hole opening the way he did. This one's got the back flipper right there, as well as the thumb hole opening. Really easy to reverse flick. Fantastic action. Like I said, N690 on the blade steel. Wire pocket clip that is reversible. And I love the attention to detail on these. So you'll also notice the anodized pivot collar that matches everything else as well. Now. Like I said, that one's coming in at $79.99 as of right now. Normally $120, $79.99 as of right now. The rest of the G10 model is coming in at $89.10. We've also got our higher end model of this. So this is the Vanak Steel version. And this is in the Purple Haze. We've got this one in the Toxic Storm, Purple Haze. We've got it in the uh, White Storm. And we've also got it in the Lava Flow. So this one's coming in again with the anodized backspacer, lanyard loop, anodized pivot collar, Vanax on that blade steel. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but Vanax is kind of hard to come by. And uh, not a lot of people are doing that. It's a phenomenal blade steel. You need to check it out if you haven't already. 4.12 inches closed. This is going to be the links and specs on all of these. Two and a half inches on that blade right there. Nice belly. Looks kind of like a... Pirate's Cutlass right there. Two and a half inches on that blade in 690, again on the G10 version, and Vanax super clean on the upgraded version with the fat carbon handles, again with the reversible wire pocket clip, um, and the upgraded version coming in at 229. Absolutely love this one. I love that it's got the finger choil that you can choke up on right there. It just feels really, really good in the hand and uh, really, really nice design and a fantastic deal, regardless of which one you end up wanting to get. You can get the budget version, you can get the uh, upgraded version, whichever one you're gonna be satisfied with, I promise you. Now, the one that everyone knows about, the one that I have not been able to shut up about, has been my Tor X-T1 Alpha right here. Absolutely love this thing and um, actually just run into a customer uh, down there that watches our videos, Frankie. Um, thank you for your input. He also carries one of these on a regular basis and he's done some really cool customization to his as well. And uh, I really dig it. I love this knife. This has been absolutely one of my favorites and one that stays in my pocket all the time. Is it pricey? It is a little bit. Coming in at 475, fantastic knife though that I would stake my life on. This thing is not going anywhere. It's absolutely reliable. I love it. And uh, this one stays in my pocket more often than not. And uh, I really dig it. Let's go over the specs of that one right there. 
in case you didn't watch my in-depth review of this one, six months carrying it in my pocket, um, we're going to go over the specs. 4.72 inches closed, uh, 3.25 S35VN recurve blade right there, uh, dark stone wash finish. It is a manual folder with the ambi thumb studs, um, smooth phosphor bronze washers. Uh, it's a frame lock that has gray titanium handles, black titanium pocket clip and the lanyard hole in the back end. You'll notice I've got my uh, special custom lanyard here um, from Todd at P&W Bushcraft. Thank you so much, Todd and Heather. You guys are awesome. Um, absolutely love my lanyard right here. This one's made in the USA in San Diego, California by the tour company, and those guys are awesome out there. If you get a chance, check them out. Um, they are phenomenal and put out phenomenal products. Weighing in, a nice little hefty 6.1 ounces, but I really dig that for an overbuilt folder like this. I absolutely love this thing. This has been my favorite knife by far. Um, if you want a more in-depth review of this knife, check it out. We'll put the link in the description below. Um, but this has been one of my favorites right here. Absolutely love that one. And a newcomer to my favorites list. This one bumped out um, one of the others. Uh, that was on this list, and um, it, it, it bumped out the Hogue, and I've been loving my Hogues. I'm, I'm here to tell you. Honorable mention to the Hogue, um, Scorpion, and Sub-Zero. Absolutely love those, but this one, this one did them in. What is that, you say? Well, I've had this one for a couple of weeks now. Um, this one's not been released yet as of the taping of this. This one is going to release on Monday the 19th. This one will be available. So you're saying TC. And I've put this one in a few Instagram posts on my personal Instagram. I've showed, I've showed hints of this one on our knife show. Um, and I've had a ton of people ask me, where'd you get those handle scales? These are not scales. These are not scales. This is a production knife right here, SMKW exclusive, NAFS Lander. Um, we worked with Ben Peterson on this one and absolutely love this thing right here. Super excited. So this is the NAFS Lander, the open source knife that you know and love, but this one's a little bit upgraded. So you're going to get, this is the Mars Lander edition. That's what we're calling it. So we've got the Mars Valley Fat Carbon on the handle material right there. It looks very similar to the Lava Flow, but what you're going to see is you're going to see a little bit of red, a little bit of orange in that uh, right there, uh, really uh, making this a lot like uh, the Mars uh, surface right there, the red planet right there. Thank you, sir. Um, and uh, just let me know what uh, you hear from Opie there and, and what works. Huh? Wednesday. Yeah, if we have to do it next week, yeah, absolutely. And if, if he wants to do it and if you want to do it later on this week, that's fine too. Either way, whatever works for you guys. So. All right, man. Thank you, sir. So really representing the red planet right there. Nice Mars lander, and I'm really digging this one. Now, here's the thing. Not only are the handles upgraded with that, those fat carbon handles, but you're also talking S35VN on the blade steel. S35VN on the blade steel. Um, so, like I said, this one's going to release on Monday the 19th. Um, we're offering free two-day shipping. Monday the 19th and Tuesday the 20th. Tuesday is our cutoff for free two-day shipping via FedEx. So get these while you can and get them as quick as you can with our free two-day shipping right there. Cutoff is Tuesday the 20th. These are launching Monday the 19th. And uh, if you've got somebody looking for something like this for a Christmas present, you're going to want to go ahead and pick these up. I tell you what, I have been loving this knife. Um, this has been a really good go between between my ultra lightweight in the mini bug out and my ultra heavy in the tour alpha right there 
This has been a really great EDC. I'm really, really digging this knife. Um, really loving it, having it in my pocket. It's, uh, it's come in more handy than I thought it would. Um, I'll be honest. And I am loving this design. Uh, I love everything that comes out of Ben Peterson's mind. It's absolutely phenomenal. He does, uh, he does really great work on a lot of different stuff. So check this one out. We've got links to the, in the description below to all of these knives. That is my top five knives of 2022. TC's EDC with TC. That is my top five of 2022. EDC with TC, TC's folder picks. Now, stay tuned because I am also going to be doing my fixed blade picks for the year as well. So stay tuned for that, folks. As always, it's been me, TC, here with Smoking Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. And remember, it cuts like something that's been in my pocket, then we care. You darn right we do, huh? God, I hope you leave that in there, Isaac. You always end up leaving funny stuff in there.